as well. Just two weeks have passed since Limerick were taught a lesson by Tipperary and Munster. A trip to Mullingar against Division 2A opposition should have been a first step on the road to redemption. With the rain hammering down, it was the hosts who struggled with the conditions, helping the visitors strike for two early goals. The first began with Paul Brown's long ball forward. Kevin Downs shrugged off all challengers, forcing his way through to land the initial blow. The second was largely due to the work of an all-round impressive Gray Mulcahy. Shane Dowling emerged without any markers, so the outcome here was inevitable. 13 minutes gone, Limerick 2-1 to 2 points in front, and Westmead looking set for a long afternoon. But that's not how it unfolded. Instead, Westmead scored 1-5 without reply. Brendan Murtagh looking particularly impressive. He'd go on to score six in total, four of those from play. TJ Ryan won't have been pleased with his defence, especially when Cormac Boyle pushed his way through and found himself with not much challenge to shirk off. When the midfielder found the net, the deficit was down to just a single point. And when Westmead again outmuscled their opponents, and Boyle found himself with a tough enough angle to work with, he still managed to slot this litter between the posts to give Michael Ryan's side the lead. Shane Dowling finally landed Limerick's first score for 18 minutes to settle his side, so by the time Sean Tobin weaved his way from his own defence and into a scoreable position, he converted for what was Limerick's fourth in the trot for a two-point half-time lead. There was an odd moment of controversy at the start of the second half, Odd because there seemed to be little objection at the time. But when Brown shot for Limerick, it looked like the slitter had gone outside the post. A goal was given, though, only the keeper protested. It seems like Shane McGovern was right. At this point, Westmeath were again probably expected to fold, but they didn't. Murta and Derek McNicholas kept them ticking over, but not enough to stop Limerick edging further in front. Downs could have had another goal. His team and Dowling would have to settle for another point instead. With 10 minutes to go, Westmeath were within four points of last year's All-Ireland semi-finalists, but they simply ran out of steam. Declan Hannan, left out of Limerick's starting team, scored three points during his 20-minute appearance. The Munster men's superior fitness and star power told in the end. Adrian Breen gave the scoreline a flattering look with his cheeky lobbed goal at the end. But there's plenty for Westmeath to build on, plenty for Limerick to work on. Final score, Westmead 112, Limerick 415. It was a period in the first half there, I think we went from about maybe 13 to 30 without getting a score, but we had created a good few chances, maybe goal scoring chances and point scoring chances and didn't take them. So the pleasing thing about it was the chances were being created. We would have been disappointed if we didn't put a few more away, like, but look, as I said, it's a win. That's what these guys want to play against. You want to pitch yourself against the best. And, you know, Limerick won the all semi final last year. They're a decent side. And I know they haven't been firing in all cylinders. They'll be a match for anybody from here on in. It was a good test of our players. And as I said, there's a lot of work to be done. But we have a lot to work with. We have a lot of potential in that team. And we have fellas who want to hurl for Westmeath and do really well. So I'm confident we can, we can move things on much further. Yeah, I mean, when you look at it, Limerick won by 12. But